Here's someone calling me a scumbag. It's fine. Here's someone, uh, umbrella guy claiming Tim Pool defends Eliza Blue. Here's Chrissy Mayer talking about me and whatever. The umbrella guy talking about me losing it. Brittany Ventney talking about me. Uh, here's the quartering saying Tim Pool blasts his viewers on Timcast IRL. We scroll down. Here's another video he makes about Tim Pool. He gets 243,000 views. He makes a video about Eliza Blue, 61,000. This is what I'm talking about. Tim Pool blocks me, 317,000 views. I don't care. I blocked Jeremy Hambly. Why? Because Jeremy Hambly is the rights or the anti-establishment version of the Young Turks. I never attacked my fans. And misrepresenting who I am and what I believe, Jeremy Hambly or the Young Turks, you're all the same as far as I'm concerned. Jeremy Hambly, the Young Turks, Sam Cedar, they're not the only ones. The crew, uh, Brittany Venti. I mean, these the, the, these channels. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Comic Crow. And Tim Pool is doing like the ultimate level of cope right now. I, I have some uh, some segments pulled up from his uh, from his video yesterday, uh, and, and I'll, I'll play it and I'll give my like reaction kind of response to it because I like, I'm gonna be honest. I I think Tim is being completely dishonest with this entire drama, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll play it through the video, but essentially his claim is it's it's just tribalism and they're forcing me to disavow a person. I don't even care about this person. I'm not gonna do what I'm told to do. Bro, bro, that is so dishonest, okay? I am sure, I am 100% sure that there is at least some people that are demanding that Tim Pool doesn't disavow uh, Eliza Blue, then, then Tim Pool is done. No, that's not what the issue is. The problem is Tim Pool has had this guest on a show twice, and both times they spoke about the importance of free speech. At the exact same time, okay, you had his writer, okay, this Shane Cashman guy, who we're, we're at part two, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about this briefly. Um, sucking her toes, right? Right, praising her, you know, talking about what like the incredible work she does. Okay, which normally would be fine unless he is also then going to do an interview with her. It doesn't. It doesn't exactly speak to journalistic integrity when they have such a close connection slash relationship with each other. But specifically, when we talk about the free speech thing, this woman is on a show praising free speech. They're they're talking about Elon Musk. They specifically bring up her connections to Elon Musk and her ability to affect change on the platform. Separate from her, Tim Pool has done multiple streams talking about the importance of free speech. So when this person, who is a guest on a show twice, who he has talked about the importance of when she was on his show twice, is then leading a massive censorship campaign over Twitter, which is something Tim Pool has covered, you know, Tim Pool as a platform, Tim, Tim Pool talking about Twitter as a platform and the importance of free speech and dialogue. Well, when all of this goes on, the only thing people wanted Tim to do was simply say something, simply talk about it. I don't believe that people are saying, Tim needs to disavow this woman. Man, even I was like, look, okay, I think that for Tim, a guy who sits there and criticizes people for not vetting their sources, okay, and then having somebody come onto a show where she's made up her entire history, man, it's just egg on your face. It's a bad look. All you have to do is say, hey, I wasn't aware of this. I wasn't aware of any of this other stuff, okay? I'm not entirely sure how much truth there is to it, but I think that what they are doing on Twitter is wrong, and it goes against free speech, which is something Elon Musk has said is super important and something that I, Tim Pool, has said is super important. That would be it. That would have been the fucking end of it, okay? I'm, I'm sure I'm sure maybe you would have had some people still going and being like, yeah, Tim Pool is standing with, standing with their lives of blue. But no, 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 okay? That if he had just talked about it, we wouldn't be here. If he had just said something about it, we wouldn't be here. He didn't have to disavow her. He, he didn't have to uh, sing about what a great person she is. He just needed to say anything. Instead, for weeks, he buried it. He ignored his audience, super chatting him tons of money. And, and now he's upset with the backlash. Now, and, and this video, when I talk about it being uh, like, like the ultimate fucking cope, okay? He fully believes in the PR campaign. So, so let, let's, let's play... 
let, let's play a bit of this video, okay? And, and these are like the highlights of what I take issue with. You absolutely must pander to a tribal force. You must be like AOC. Express righteous indignation at the, at the, at the turn of a, a, on a dime the moment your audience demands it. Because you have different elements of your audience for any one of these organizations. You have your diehards. They'll support you no matter what you do. You have your more fickle fans. They know you and they overlap with other audiences, but you better do as they say or else. And you have normies who might watch. From and I've already talked about this. He doesn't have to pander to anybody. He needs to give his honest opinions on things. But if you make your show, if you make a core essence of your show, talking about the importance of free speech, talking about the importance of open and honest dialogue over social media platforms, then when you see this man who you've been praising for all of his free speech efforts, uh, allowing a massive censorship campaign to go on his platform, well, at the same time, the individual they are doing it for was also a guest on your show twice. Bro, you just need to acknowledge what's going on. That was it. That was it. Instead, in, instead, he, he comes with this idea of, oh, they want me to pander. I have to say that she is evil or say that she's an angel. No, no, no. This has been said over and over and over again, and it doesn't matter because Tim Pool is just going to lie. Other, you can quantify fans in other ways or individuals and audiences in other ways. But these are the people right now that are particularly upset with me because they've demanded that I disavow certain individuals. And by not doing so, they've created a, I don't know, viral news cycle among people about drama related to me that I quite honestly think is a net negative in terms of moving forward. It exemplifies that these people are very much the exact same thing that AOC is that I despise and think we need. Don't, don't worry. He's going to do a, a great job at comparing everybody to AOC. Or, or, or people on the left who are just insane and lie all the time, right? Because this is where we're at, okay? And, and, and again, again, I'll give the caveat and say, I'm sure that there is at least a handful of people that act that way that, that are going after Tim Pool. The majority of people have just been like, bro, open your damn mouth and stop lying. Just say something. Just acknowledge the situation. And, but I will say this, okay? If you are going to be the free speech guy, if you're going to talk about the importance of free speech on social media platforms, then, then yes, on some level, it would be morally consistent to disavow what's going on. But if you can't work up the actual courage to do that, because, you know, then it makes you look a little bit fucking bad, then, then at, at, at the very fucking least, mention that it's happening, okay? And offer support to the people that are being censored and removed off of Twitter. That would have been the end of it. I'm not going to pander to you. I'm going to talk about what I think is important. I'm going to focus on issues that I think are important. And if you don't... You mean like free speech? You, you mean literally free speech? The thing that you... Have, again, again, if you didn't make it a core important part of your show talking about it, okay, then, then nobody could really say anything. If Tim Pool wasn't the guy praising Elon Musk, praising the changes on Twitter, talking about the importance of free speech, okay? If he wasn't that guy, then you know what? You wouldn't have the audience that you have today because people that watched his show, look, here, I didn't do this yet. I didn't do this yet. I have been subscribed to Tim Pool for a pretty long time. On my other channel, I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to all of his stuff. Not that I watch anything on my other channel, but look, look, I guess, I guess, am I a bot? Am I a bot? Am I a bot, Tim? Right? Like, seriously, this is this is stupid. Actually, let, let's talk about let, let's talk about uh, his fans, though. But I'll give you an example of uh, uh, of what this is. Did I attack my own fans? The answer is no, I didn't. Obviously, you're watching this. You're a fan. I never attacked you. Why is Jeremy Hambly lying on his channel? Just like the Young Turks, that's what people do. Their goal is just to make money, I guess. Now, of course, they'll accuse me of doing the same thing, but it's weird. I have no problem telling people who are spamming my chat to screw off. I don't care. and I don't want your money. And then apparently they cancel their subscriptions, but I'm OK. So so how would that not be insulting and attacking your own fans? OK, now you could say, I think my fans are wrong. 
okay? You can you can absolutely say that. You can say that you think that your fans are completely incorrect, but you cannot sit there and go, these aren't my fans, they're just super chatting me money, telling me that they're upset with me. Why are they giving you money, you stupid fucking idiot? Like, I don't get that, okay? They are paying you money Obviously, they're giving you that money for a reason. Oh, because it's a paid PR campaign. It's a paid PR campaign. Let, let's let's dig into the paid PR campaign. Keep making up your trash garbage and misrepresenting who I am and what I believe, Jeremy Hambly or the Young Turks. You're all the same as far as I'm concerned. I'll tell you what I said. On my show, I said, I believed Eliza Blue is trying to be famous. And there is a PR firm that we know of that uh, that the belief I have, based on what I've seen, is they create about 50 fake accounts. They get about 50 people. I'm sorry, they get about 10 people to each make about uh, five accounts and run them. It's very, very easy to do. And you can watch videos of this where they have cell phones all over the walls. They then will go onto channels and spam the comments and say, cover this story and talk about this thing in an effort to get prominent personalities to talk about it. And it works. Now, not only do you have Jeremy Hambly with 1.47 million followers making up videos where he says Tim Pool blasts his viewers, when I quite literally said, these people are clearly not fans. We've not, we, we've gained. Okay, dipshit. I was a fan. All right. Like I, I've talked about Tim Pool on my show before. I know Quartering was a fan uh, of Tim Pool. Okay. But in, in Tim's head, it's a paid PR firm. Okay. That, that's just like, like 50, may, maybe 10 to 50 people. And they're spamming people's uh, uh, chats. And, and that's why, that's why all of these content creators are talking about it. That quartering was manipulated by a paid PR. Shove it up your fucking ass, dude. Okay. Like, like talk about making the situation even worse, right? Oh, I'm above all the drama. Clearly you're fucking not. Okay. Clearly you lack the ability to take accountability when you screw up. OK, and, and that's that's where I am with it. You brought somebody on your show that openly lies. OK, that openly lies. You brought somebody onto your show that claims to be for fucking free speech, just like you do. Well, you praised her influence, praised her relationship with Elon Musk and her ability to affect actual change on the platform. Well, then she gets caught on a massive censorship campaign and you sit there for weeks, you ignore your audience, you refuse to talk about it for fucking weeks. And then when he finally breaks down, it's to insult his audience, but then say, but you're not really my audience. I've got more growth than that now, bitch. Man, how far people fall when they get successful. What, 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 what do we have? Here we go. Tim Pool blasted for article, an article I didn't write. Shane Cashman wrote it. He works here. But but he puts my name in the in the video because. Yeah, I wonder why he put. Oh, wow. Wait, is this TimCast.com? Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not like Tim Pool wrote the article. It's just up on the fucking website that has his fucking name on it. Dude, what the fuck is going on here? Right? I would play the rest of the video, but to, to be frank with you, the majority of this stuff just goes into him bitching about Hassan Piker and bitching about uh, the Hogwarts legacy and how everyone's so tribal and mean now. Bro, shut up. Shut the fuck up. You're not a victim here, okay? You're not being unfairly targeted. There's no PR campaign running this big old fucking conspiracy theory, which apparently he knows about. He actually knows who the PR firm is. Name them. Fucking name them, then. God damn, do it. Do it. You know who the PR firm is. Say their damn name. Put it on the fucking video. This PR firm is creating all of this problem. Okay. All of these problems are coming from this one fucking paid PR firm. Your website, your writer, your writer on your show talking to this fucking known liar. Spe speaking of which, okay, this, this entire document is no better than the next one. It's an interview with her parents who basically just say, yeah, no, it totally happened to her. It totally happened to her. It did. But here's my favorite part, okay? This, this is why I don't like Tim Pool. This is why I don't like Shane Cashman. And again, this, this has Tim's name all over it, okay? If one of his writers is putting out false information like this, then, then he should be somewhat upset about it, okay? But over here in the article, uh, she goes, if it's a choice between free speech and the government, if we have to lose one, if one has to go, it's not going to be free speech. But but at the exact same time, right? She goes, if you can't tell the difference between the human rights violations of human trafficking 
and sexual exploitation and free speech, then you have a big problem than worrying about where my principles lie. This woman is still fucking lying. Sexual exploitation. You signed a fucking release to be in a world star hip hop video, okay? You signed a release. You were paid money. This isn't exploitation. This isn't paid exploitation. Is it a little embarrassing? Sure, absolutely. But this is what I mean, okay? Tim's going, I'm not the writer. I didn't write this article. Dude, it's on your fucking website that has your fucking name. Come on, come the fuck on. This entire video is just Tim Helping. Well, it's also him insulting people and saying, well, you actually, you're just like TYT. Ha ha. Wow. Fucking wow. Good riddance. I'm happily unsubscribed now. Totally not a fan. Just a bot. Beep boop. Go fuck yourself.